Welcome, friends! Your favorite degenerates, Krista and Jason, are at it again! Let's celebrate the day! What's the situation, Degenerate Nation? What's happening, Degenerates? All right, on with another drink video, right? So as you guys know, we were in Key West as one of our last port stops when we were on the Victory. On the Victory. I got it right that time. You did? <laughs> High five. Who's a good boy? You are. <laughs> and uh, one of our favorite stops when we were there for a drink was Sloppy Joe's, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you, if you, oh. <laughs> if you watched. <laughs> It's song. It's I, Adam Sandler. It's He's not, so funny. That's not. I know, funny. but that song is funny. Should we move on? Okay. Okay. So when we were in Key West, one of our favorite stops for a drink was Sloppy Joe's, and Sloppy Joe's was a hangout of Ernest Hemingway. And as you know from our previous drink vlogs, uh, we did the Papa Doble, which mm -hmm. was an Ernest Hemingway favorite as well, and Krista hosted that one. So it only seems fitting that Krista's gonna host and take the lead on Sloppy Joe's, our Ernest Hemingway Mojito. The yes. Hemingway Mojito, is that the, the official word? The Hemingway Mojito. Now, okay, now, now I gotta put my old lady glasses on because I can't read and I had to, a bunch of notes. But um, one thing I found out when I was uh, researching this, one of the reasons that drink was called the Papa Doble is because Hemingway was consistently known wherever he went as Papa. Papa. So it's, Papa. Not, it's not a double potato. It's not well, a double potato. This makes potato. way more sense now. <laughs> <laughs> he was known as Papa. So um, our daiquiri drink um, started in about the night. Well, I mean, the history started before that. But when Hemingway popped in um, was about the 1940s. And that's when he was in Cuba. But before he was in Cuba, in the 1930s, he was in Key West. Yeah, the, the polydactyl cats, the Hemingway yep. house. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, we all, I think. And and he's he um he was quite the degenerate. Um, That's why he keeps popping up somehow in our drink <laughs> vlogs. It's like he really does. again. He does. He was quite the degenerate. There's about twelve different drinks that he fancied, and uh, we've only this is the second one we've well third one we've popped in on. Well, so. this this place was really, really awesome to visit. So if you get to Key West, uh, uh, either on a vacation or on a cruise stop, go to Sloppy Joe's if you get the chance. It's a cool place to hang out, right? It's a really cool place. And so we're going to let you know some of the history about Pop. Let's do it. About uh, Sloppy Z Joe's. Z okay. Uh, Joe Easy. Russell. We're going to catch a copyright violation. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so Joe Russell, um, back on December, December 5th, 1933, he decided that he was going to open this bar. Unfortunately, Prohibition was hanging on. Um, and so he really couldn't open a bar, so he kind of opened this illegal speakeasy. Which is um, basically a bar without a license. And a bunch of girls. Um, so he opened it December 5th, 1933. Maybe just skip over the whole girls part. I was hoping there was a little more in there. Nope, sorry. All right. Okay. And then um, Ernest Hemingway, he used to slip into the illegal speakeasy and grab himself a couple of bottles of uh, some of his favorite mixers, rum, vodka, and, and so on. Mm -hmm. But once Prohibition was over, Joe, um, he turned over uh, the operation to uh, a legitimate operation. And when he did that, he added a dance floor and changed the name to the Silver Slipper. Now the original name was the Key West Saloon. So it became, it was the Key West Saloon, then it became the Silver Slipper. And then finally, yeah, you get it, did you? Um, and then finally, um, Hemingway used to tease Joe all the time and say, you know, this place is a disaster. There's melted ice all over the floor. You know, this place is like Sloppy Joe's or something. Hence the name, so. That's how it got the We're name clearing Sloppy up a lot Joe's. Of stuff today. See? That's I, it. I We're smart. done here. That's two things I learned today. <laughs> Unfortunately, in 1935, Joe's landlord wanted to raise his rent. He wanted to raise his rent from $3 a week to $4 a week. Is that highway robbery Are you or what? You shitting me? $4 a week. Freaking. Jeez. Joe said, I ain't having this. That's not going to work for me. There's a building down the street that's empty from a restaurant that closed down. I'm just going to buy that building. And he bought it for $2,500. So where today's bar sits was actually purchased by Joe um, for, for $2,500. Oh, my. Yeah. 
I wonder what the property is worth right, right? now. But here's the funny thing. Joe had to figure out how to move all his stuff from the original location to the new location. So you know what he did? He asked all of his customers, would you do me a favor? Pick up your drink, your chair, and maybe something else if you can, and take it down to that building for me? All his customers and patrons picked up his stuff and moved it down the street. Didn't even have, didn't, never, the bar actually never closed or missed a drink in process. Everybody just no picked downtime, up and moved down. And no down. You, you'd minimize your moving expenses. Oh, there was no I'm not sure expenses. you could do that with another business like, no. you know, Walmart where they'd be, hey, can you take your bag that you were about to check out and walk down the street to can the other Walmart <laughs> so we can check you out? Well, can you imagine like today if a bar would move from one location to another and ha have your parent, your patrons carry their drinks yeah, down to the other location? This is Key locations? West, right? It's just like, That's true. yeah, it's all good. Sure. Anyway, um, Joe, the owner of the Key West Saloon, a.k.a. the Silver Slipper, a.k.a. Sloppy Joe's, um, was also a boat captain, and he was Hemingway's boat captain, and so they would go out and they would go fishing all the time. Um, and, and Hemingway one time caught this 119 pound sailfish, and it was huge. And Joe was like, I gotta get a picture of this. They got a picture of it, and it's actually one of the pictures on the wall at the uh -huh. Sloppy Joe's. So, um, well, well, you're just feeling connected to this. I, place, I am. Right? He's like totally artsy fartsy, and that place was so eclectic. Yeah, it was. And, cool. and just so unique, and it was awesome. Anyway, a bunch of Hemingway's friends who were also well known writers, literature professors, and uh, painters also hung out at this bar with him. And you can look up history on them. But, but. while he was there, he liked this drink. But unfortunately, Hemingway moved from Key West in 1939 to Cuba. And he wasn't even allowed to take his drink, apparently. He had to switch. No, he had to switch drinks. <laughs> and, and, and Joe passed away shortly thereafter. Oh, come on. Let's, let, let's get back to the happy stuff. Okay. This, was, this was moving along great with the whole move your drink and bar stool. But Joe's family has taken on the reins and they've done great over the course of time. Good anyway. for Joe's family. <laughs> while Hemingway if you're was looking to adopt anybody, <laughs> I'm available. <laughs> while Hemingway was hanging out with his friend Joe, um, he loved this mojito, and it's it's a unique mojito. Um, it can be made in multiple different ways. Um, I was I was really curious, you know, how, you know, I was like, you know, this drink is delicious because we got it in this souvenir cup. So cute. Got a picture of the sailfish on it. Aww. Didn't know and that, once did again, it? keeping the uh, dishes down quite a bit. Oh, the dog's swimming dog's again. Pool. Um, so, <laughs> um, anyway, so um, I was drinking this and I'm like, oh my God, I would love to have the recipe for this. And we saw it, we didn't know that that was the drink or the bar that Hemingway hung out in, but no. obviously we had done the Papa Doble from the uh, Cuban cruises. Right. And so we walk in there and we realized what was happening and we're exactly. like, oh my God. This, this, this is it. Yeah. So we were like all excited looking through the menu and we found the Hemingway mojito and mm -hmm. ordered one and Krista was like, oh my God, that's delicious. She loves the daiquiri anyway. Yep. So it just keeps getting deeper for Krista. And I was like oh my god i would love to have the recipe to this and she's like okay and i'm like what oh sh right. sh sh. yeah so I'm like, even, we didn't have to say a little bird told us on this one the bartender told us yeah so i'm like freaking out i'm like pulling out my phone and 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 trying to write down the recipe and i got all excited um the recipe does feature pilar rum because that was the rum at that time um i watched her pour Maybe a different rum. Uh, today we're going to use Bacardi because that's what we're going to use. Um, it also includes mint, lime juice, bar syrup is what they call it, but she called it simple syrup, um, and club soda. Now, simple, um, simple, simple, simple. The drink down there uh, for this little drink, uh, we paid ten seventy five for this drink. We did. Um, and you know and what? I'll go back and pay another ten seventy five. I would. For one. <laughs> I would too. So let's mix up a couple of these. Let's mix. It yeah. isn't. It isn't a very large drink. You can see no, this is like an eight small. ounce cup. So if you have a, a highball glass or a shorty glass or whatever the case is, that would work. Okay. Uh, you got some ice. I will get ice. Okay. So, yeah. 
Okay. So um, we've got some mint leaves. Unfortunately, um, we're not really blessed with being able to grow a lot of vegetables down here. I mean, we are, but um, my mint plant's about this big, so it's not gonna work. So we got mint leaves from the store. Um, our drinks in Key West each had four mint leaves in it. So I am, I know, it's nummy. Hey, go ahead and get your nose out of your drink, mint. <laughs> Drink mint. So there's four. You want a mint? There you go. You can chew on it. You can eat it. Make your breath fresh. Yeah, although you have like the green thing in your tooth, so you know, while your breath smells Yeah, fantastic. that's beautiful. <laughs> what did you It's quite strong. <laughs> Maybe it's the Dos Equis. It just doesn't balance well with me. <laughs> so I've got the mint leaves in here. Um, she had, she was dealing with a lot of crushed ice. We don't have a lot of crushed ice. So. I thought we were supposed to muddle. We are muddling. but How we do we got muddle it. with ice? We're getting there. Oh, okay. Sorry. Right. Must be skipping ahead. <laughs> um, I'm going to add a half ounce of simple syrup. Again, you can adjust to taste. Um, what? Sorry. You didn't leave me? No, I'm just being very uh, attentive. <laughs> okay. That's and what then, she calls it when I'm horny. And then, now she mashed it in this exact, with the ice, with the ice in there and everything. It was really difficult, I think. I was watching her and it was crazy. There's a frog in there trying to get out. <laughs> but what we're doing is we're muddling the mint leaves with the simple syrup. Every day I'm muddling, muddling, muddling. You're doing great. Keep it up. Thanks. I'm muddling. Yeah, you're, you're a fantastic muddler. I'm a muddler. Okay. Um. Ooh. Hang on. <laughs> it's water. Um, so now you add the... We have a minty fresh pool now. We have a minty fresh pool. Let's go through the booze. So, last week's drink, the Hog Snort from the Hog's Breath Saloon, came in at uh, about 8.9% ABV. We mixed it in a little bit bigger glass, but nonetheless it had two ounces of... Uh, coconut rum, which is only 26.5%, and an ounce and a half of uh, blue curacao. And uh, that one was 9.75, brought us in at $1.10 per ABV. This drink has one and a half ounces of 40 proof uh, Bacardi in it, and nothing else really. So it uh, it's gonna be in a smaller glass, and magically it comes out to 8.8% .8 ABV. So it and the hog snort, yeah, it's already on. <laughs> It and the hog snort are like a tenth of an ABV from being the same strength. And uh, to compare, this one comes in at 1075 because uh, they can get that and everybody's paying it, including me. Yeah. <clears throat> and it comes in at $1.22 per ABV. So it's not as good a value as the hog snort was by about 12 cents. And comparing that to beer, that's our baseline, and you know beer went up, so I'm doing 625 per beer at 4.2% ABV. It comes out to $1.49 per ABV. Better value than beer, even at 1075 of this little tiny cup, but not as good a value as the hog snort. Really? Really. So I've muddled, I've added our lime juice, I've added the rum, and now I'm just gonna top everything up. You okay? Yep. Yeah. I made a mess. Eesh. Why is that so angry? It's it, <laughs> it, it, it didn't like me, honey. It just shot its. Wow. Yeah, talk your way out of that. I'm I'm just pouring. <laughs> I'm 
want to say all sorts of colorful verbiage. Okay, I'm all done. Keep talking. All righty. Are we supposed to stir it or just yeah, I'm grip gonna it and just, rip it? I'm, I'm just going to... Well, I'm going to... Okay, or we can use that. I, I, it's here. <laughs> go hard or go this home. This is the second muddling. Okay, cheers. Cheers. I think we should give a cheers to Sloppy Joe. We should. Oh, wow. Cheers, Sloppy Joe. Cheers, Sloppy Joe. That is such a wonderful summertime drink. It is. I mean, perfect Key West drink. Yeah, that's good. That's the same drink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. So this is a little itty bitty glass with a lot of rum in it. Um, we're gonna drink. Yeah, you know the drill. Drink one. Wait 20 minutes. Breathalyzer. So we will see you soon. Bye. Cheers. Hi, degenerates. So. That was one Hemingway mojito. And the, a punch. For an ounce and a half of Bacardi, but it's a really small glass. I was pleasantly so, surprised. Uh, you know, much like the uh, the cucumber sunrise, where it's a, 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 a smaller volume drink, yeah. eyeball glass, uh, this one had that as well. So, should we get to business? You get to business, I'll be mixing. I'm thinking that my breathalyzer may be a little suspect since the drop a couple times ago. So we're gonna find out. Suspect. Love to smell that. Don't eat it straight. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a beer or two, I think. You've had three beers, so that is no suspect. 0. 0.07. Hey, that's pretty good. You've had three beers and this drink. I know, but I should end up over a one. So today. maybe you're like me today. Man, that smells good. It does. Okay, so um, Man, if you I make put, this drink, just let them mince it out in the house. It's phenomenal smelling. Yes. So I um, added four mint leaves to each um, each thingy, each cup. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing! Oh Jesus! I can hardly wait to see what we're like after two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Blow in the thingy. All right, all right, you got there, you're there. Easy, easy. <coughs> Point oh 0.05. See, I'm not that drunk. Right. I'm lower so than you. If I give you if I give you a three beer head start, we are, <laughs> we're in the game. Yeah. Okay. Um, it beeped at you more though, so you lose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you said that a half ounce of simple syrup was a little light for you. Are you okay no, with no, that I'm, again, I'm saying or? I think that the drink that we had was a, was slightly sweeter, but I like it the drier version. The mint really complements the drier version. I of agree. trying to make a sweet drink out of a minty drink because the mint's just not a dry or a sweet flavor. I agree. So I, I think you've got it, nailed it, but I think the one that you might get, and that could vary because it's not like they're sitting there like Krista is measuring each little thing. No, they count. And granted, yeah, they have so, four you know, spouts. You, and, or... and depending on who's calling at them or what the weather's like or, you know, if they're paying attention or not, you could get a sweet drink or you could get a dry drink. Yeah. But if you like a sweet drink, throw a little more simple syrup in it and see what that 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 uh, that mint to sweet Fudge. ratio. I left the ice out, honey. Somebody stole our ice <laughs> and left this bowl of water. Sticks. <laughs> Yeah, throw it in the pool. Let me go get you some new ice. Okay, well, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of cubes for, for those, my those muddling. Those are weak. Yeah, I know, but I got to muddle. And muddling with a I big cube okay, is, okay, is okay. going to be... Right, you I'm muddling. I said my muddle this shit. Oh, this shit sprayed me everywhere. You got, you got to get aggressive with the mint leaves. Maybe I could do some like spinning action. I feel like I sh this is I feel like this is a not age appropriate to be muddling. I feel like muddling is inappropriate. <laughs> well, at least you're the one doing it. I I love the little twist action though. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm trying to rip up the mint leaves. Is that... Okay. 
He's going to comment on the experience <laughs> level of the modeling. <laughs> Low hanging fruit, guys. Low hanging fruit. I need rum. Or not. <laughs> He's making fun of me again, isn't he? No, I'm he? not. I am not. I may need crackers soon. Hmm. So I pour the rum. The rum is good. The rum is good. The rum is good. We mixed? Yeah, sorry, we had a little technical issue, so uh, the camera cut off, but at any rate, we caught it, and uh, we have made our second. Yes, and it is, it's not even below this little lippy thing. Very nice it, sippy. I really like this drink. Mm. So, uh, this is a really good drink. You know the drill. Let's drink these. Okay. Let's wait 20 minutes. Let's breathalyze and see what crackers you've brought for this drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a quick question for you though. Mm -hmm. If you could change anything about this drink to make it more user friendly at home, what would you change? What do you mean to make it more user friendly? It's pretty limited in ingredients, which I can totally appreciate. Right, I mean, it's got Because we were looking at doing the fun ship soon, but it, there's like six or seven ingredients in this yeah. damn thing. I mean, it, it's a killer to try and have people make it home. Yeah, but so would you change anything? <coughs> um, I might strain rather than muddle in the cup because I agree. the lower the drink gets, the more likely you are to end up pasting your front teeth with a mint leaf. Yes. Or some, some something. But I can, uh, I can appreciate the fact that the mint leaf is doing its thing the entire time while you're drinking it, so the dog is in the pool again. Yep, same dog. I can dog. appreciate the fact that the mint is really complimenting the drink throughout the drinking process. So yes. if that, that's worth maybe a little mint on your lip or tongue or your teeth or whatever. It is kind of like, um, drinking this drink is kind of like watching to make sure you don't have salad teeth. You know what I wonder would be really good in this? What? This is just crazy Jason talking. A jalapeno ring. Ew. Yeah. Think about it. Think about it. Don't judge. Think about it for a minute. No, judge. That sounds <laughs> nasty. All right. 20 minutes. Let's do this. 20 minutes. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Welcome back. Hello. Oops. So, the Hemingway. It's a win. Mojito. It's not bunk. All right, I did, um, after I suggested the jalapeno ring, run into the kitchen and grab a jalapeno ring and threw it in there and muddled it. It's phenomenal. So if you like a, a drink that's a little spicy, <laughs> grab yourself a jalapeno ring and muddle it up with your uh, mint leaves. And it's not over the top. I don't like drinks that are spicy, hot. Uh, I tried the Chipotle margarita on the ship mm -hmm. and wasn't a really big fan because it's just a little too much spice for a drink. I love hot food, don't get me wrong. I eat anything hot. Ugh, hot but food. hot food and hot drink is different. But this adds a nice layer of, uh, I don't know, what coolness. Yeah. So. I don't like hot anything, so it wasn't my gig. No, nah, it's not Krista's thing at all. Mm-mm. It wasn't my thing, baby. <laughs> what are we drink? What are we eating today? We're eating this. This is called cheese it snack, and it says cheddar in sour cream. Point one oh. Woo! Woo! I might be I more than that. <laughs> I only got like point oh three off of that drink. I'm probably more than that. Oh, what am I doing drinking water? I already blew it. <laughs> Stop it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm more than that. Mm. I sure hope not, but I sure feel it. No, 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 Ha! Ha! <laughs> Oops. Point one one. Boy, talk about a come from behind victory. <laughs> okay, it's not fair. Yeah. But. I feel it though. Do you? Oh, so, baby. Well, I mean, that's basically three shots and you poured pretty heavy. I'm thinking we did closer to four with your uh, <laughs> inability to measure well. I kept forgetting which glass was his. So. <laughs> Hemingway Mojito from Sloppy Joe's. I really like this drink. Man, that's a good pool drink. It's a great drink for um, spring or summer, you know, a nice warm day. It is 90 plus here. 
Yeah, but the mint um, is just, it lays in there really well, and the club soda gives it just enough bubble to where it's uh, slightly effervescent. Effervescent. And I don't like club soda. No, we don't, neither one. That's why we have a big giant two liter bottle that we've had for some time. Yeah, and. Otherwise, I would buy a canned club soda just to save yourself the trouble because we'll probably end up throwing that out at some point. Well, it we expires at the, end, at the end of this year, so, yep. Thanks for the info. Yep. <laughs> So, uh, and the jalapeno ring, if you like a little spice to it, it added a really nice. It was a pickled jalapeno ring, and I don't yeah, think yeah, I like, like a, the pickle. Like a nacho jalapeno ring, not like a, a fresh jalapeno cut in, this, in the rings, but it was good. I, I think that's it. the part I didn't like was the pickled part. You don't like anything hot, so don't pretend like it's just No, pickled. but it was the pickled thing that was like. <clears throat> All right, so you got any other fun facts on uh, Sloppy Joe's, Ernest Hemingway? Would you like to recite some poetry, maybe sing us a song? No. You want to close this out with a little, <laughs> little song and dance? Sloppy Joe's is really cool, though. I, um, it has a... <clears throat> that was my thing, and you got mad at me. <laughs> no, Sloppy Joe's actually has the longest bar, as far as uh, square footage goes, in Key West. Fun you fact. Mean, bar like the length of the actual the length bar. of the actual bar is the longest one in key west there you go so if you're looking to get served and uh, have a good chance on a busy night you'll probably find a spot at sloppy joe's and the women's bathroom has a line you have to wait as, as most do yeah that's, um, that's what you get for sit to pee but it is um it's not like in a cavern or you know some some women's bathrooms you go to in bars and you're like and it's not you're not feeling real comfortable and um, this one there's actually a, a it, it's it's i cannot tell you how many bars i've peed in that i just wasn't comfortable it just ruins oh, my experience god you snob <laughs> I, no I as a like, woman bars can be you and you watch every you, move i make you, I, well not every move i can't go into the restaurant yeah but you make sure i get to the I, door I, safely i see you and, go in and i see you come out that right that much is and true. and this and this bar is actually very well visible by a lot of people so i thought it was a really the, cool was vibe I, I, and key west is by all accounts a very very safe place it's in the u.s so it's it, mm -hmm. you're not you're not off a ship in a foreign country you know waiting for crooks to exploit you or pirates to abduct you it's it's key west we had a great and time in Key West. I would revisit Key West again, um, both as a land, um, land-based vacation and a sea-based vacation. I got animal crackers, and they're free. Yep, they're, they're not in a cage anymore. They let them out. They did. <clears throat> they charge 50 extra cents for that, by the way. Yes. They have to recoup their, their loss of animal crackers being in cages because they're free now. <laughs> As an excursion, I think Key West is bomb because there's I agree. just so many. I mean, if you're not into the Deval Crawl or oh, into cool. any of that, there's there's a butterfly museum, there's mm -hmm. the lighthouse, there's the Hemingway House, and there's don't forget, beaches. Uh, Mel's Mel. Uh, oh yeah, 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 the the treasure place. The Mel Mel's treasures. Um, that was amazing. I I mean, yeah. it's actual treasure. Oh yeah. yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, this stuff that was uh, brought up from the bottom of the ocean after being yeah. lost for centuries. Chris has got herself a cute little necklace mm -hmm. that we probably don't pay for, but like, ask me if I care. <laughs> I love it, honey. I know you do. That's why we brought it home, right? So, uh, you know, it Whoa. was from 1760 or whatever. You want ammo cracker? I don't know. Here, I'll feed you one. <laughs> what am I eating? I don't know. What is they, it, honey? They let them out, so they're all free <laughs> to go in your mouth and be chewed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I had a buffalo. I don't know. So the great white buffalo? He was the leader of the land. It was? That's a Ted Nugent song, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I totally like this drink when I had it at Sloppy Joe's. Totally we, like it at home. Hot weather drink, fantastic. I could even mm -hmm. see uh, as a uh, cold night a drink even. It would be it would be acceptable. I don't think that there would be a difference. I think it's a really made for a hot weather day, though. I agree. That's why uh, it would be a Key West favorite, a pool drink. It's not. I don't think it's a cold. And you could drink. probably cut the booze back on it if you wanted to go back to like an ounce of Bacardi. I wonder how it would be as a coconut. <laughs> Camera's like two. <laughs> I wonder how it would be as a coconut rum mojito. 
that, as, as I, variations I think, on a drink. And the coconut rum is much, much lower. I mean, we're talking 26.5% ABV versus 40 on Bacardi. Right, and, and coconut rum, we, I really do like coconut rum, and it's probably because it's low in ABV. Um, yeah, but, but like the hog snort, you know, that's I think it's the same rum. size of glass. Yeah. So anyway. It's a good drink. Add, yeah. add the jalapeno ring if you want to really, really take this to the next level. I would add like a cucumber. Mm -hmm. The options are limitless. Ernest Hemingway and I have something in common, and we kind of like the same drinks. So I'm gonna see what else he got into. He's your like uh, spirit animal. He's my he's my spirit drunk. <laughs> your spirit degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> this is an amazing drink. Ernest Hemingway was onto something. Um, I'm gonna actually research the other drinks. Um, he was actually Joe was onto something. Joe Ernest was Hemingway just stopped by. But he liked this one. Well, he popularized um, it. He's got a ton of drinks that he really favored. I really favor a lot of his drinks so far. Yeah, um, and uh, I, I, I already threw up the, the main menu of all the, the house drinks, and man, you want to talk about a selection. So even if you're not a mojito drinker, great stop with a lot of history mm -hmm. and plenty of drinks to be had there. Keep in mind this And this, this, bar, this is probably the closest bar, or one of the closest bars, to the cruise bar. I agree. It's very close to the cruise bar. And a very close walk to Kermit's. Yes. To go get some key lime pie on a steak covered in chocolate. Yeah, we did that too. Key West is amazing. Um, wonderful shopping, wonderful experiences, wonderful history. Um, and if you see a drink you like when you're out uh, doing your thing, you know, if you're if you are drinking uh, in port, yeah, grab, don't hesitate to ask the, the bartender. Recipe. Let's let's do it. Yeah, don't hesitate to ask the bartender, and feel free to shoot it to us, and we'll attempt it and see what happens. Or drink it yourself and screw us. Exactly. Yeah. Never mind us. Okay. Well, All right. We love you guys. Have a great weekend. Celebrate the day. Celebrate the day. Thanks for watching. Much love to our friends. Be the good in the world. Spread the love and go on an adventure. Please like, comment, and subscribe.